Hey everyone, this is John Danielle again with another line for you guys. We're doing our premium Eju's line, and a really interesting one. Mm -hmm. um, this is Bathtub Brewers, and they sent us three of their premium uh, juice line. Three of their from their premium juice line. There's six. There's six different flavors. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they'll send us uh, the other three because just right off the bat. And thanks for the koozie. I have something to put my uh, my beer in now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. It's really cool. Yeah. I um, love when we get stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably a little bit better now. But it's it's a guy, looks like he's pouring a bunch of junk inside of a bathtub with a rubber ducky and he's mixing mm -hmm. it with a paddle. So, guy wearing overalls. It's really cool. I like it. Mm -hmm. um, so, thank you for that. I always enjoy getting gifts, um, especially when they're for me. She got this t shirt and I didn't get one from mm -hmm. VTA. Mm -hmm. So sad. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, first off, this bottle. It looks like one of those uh, old-timey, uh, I guess, like, whiskey jugs or something like that, yeah. which is really nice. It's got kind of a a rough label. Uh, it looks uh, old-timey. Mm -hmm. I like the way that the designs are made. And then there's a number on the cap. It says three. Three milligrams of nicotine. Oh, their milligrams of nicotine is mm -hmm. actually on the top. And it's stamped inside of this wax. This is gold wax that's been poured on the bottle. And let me just say that this is an awesome effect. I love it. It is amazing. It's, it's the most different bottle that we've ever received. Yeah, I, I don't even want to open it. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's so unique. I love, I love really it this cool. much. So anyways, I'm going to break into this and uh, we're going to go ahead and test the flavors out. Um, the three that we have are... They're just the colors. Gold, forest green, and silver. Unique, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, our juice is so wonderful, we just name it colors. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So all we do is you, you take the little tab and stick it on the side, oh, and you peel yeah. it along the side, the back of it. They got a uh, kind of a smaller following of 602. So this is kind of cool how they do this. Mm. It looks like they just took tape and wrapped it around it. So this is like they uniquely did this. I'm, mm -hmm. How are they found these bottles? I'm, it's, I know it's really cool. I like it. it looks like they took uh, tape like. Yeah, like you, you can tell that somebody actually put these bottles together and actually poured wax on these. Nobody's manufacturing these for them. I don't think so, at least. This know. is this is masking it's, tape. It says that they're bottled by Longhorn Bottling, so I don't know what that means. Really? Mm -hmm, it's right here. Wow. So maybe a bottling company did this. This looks like masking tape though that they wrapped around it and then poured the wax. It's just it's a really nice effect. Anyways, enough with their bottle. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the flavor. This is the gold flavor. Yeah, go ahead. Um, they're on their Facebook page. They always have. Um, they've always been post. Well, since I've been following them, they've been posting um, deals and stuff like that. So check that out too. Fifty percent off codes. Everybody likes that. Fifty percent off. Fifty percent awesome. off. Yeah. All right. Oh wow! It all come off. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So it actually looks like the whiskey joke now. So how are we gonna put this in? Are you just gonna pour it? Yeah, there's no dripper, so you would have to have like a pipette or something like that. Um, it's got a really nice seal on it, so I don't think it's going to leak or anything. It doesn't look like it's tapered except, you know, just what you can see. So I'm just going to I'm gonna go ahead and pour some on. Kind of do a controlled pour. This is something that you would definitely want to have a pipette or put inside of like the unicorn bottle. Hmm, that's different. What's different? That there's no way to drip. Maybe this stuff is better out of a tank? I guess it would be more difficult to pour in a tank. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see what we got going on. I'll be right back. That is really different. Where are you going? Don't leave me. a better hit. <clears throat> you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a flavor that I've used before, or that, that I've tasted before called sawdust. Mm. So it's a tobacco. Is it? Do they not have flavor profiles? Oh yeah, they do. I think this this could be, I mean, it, it kind of reminds me of a sawdust flavor. Like a I haven't flavor. read these pl 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 flavor profiles. It's really interesting to me because even though I say sawdust and I say it kind of tastes like sawdust, 
It's not a bad flavor to me. You not like it? It's different. So they took your breath away. It's yeah. Different. It's like a sweet, sawdusty flavor to me. Um, and I, we could be completely off from what, what it says, but that's just kind of what it reminds me of. Um, and I'm sure you guys know. Hmm. Toffee and vanilla. Really? Yeah. That toffee flavor is... A malted toffee and vanilla. That is crazy. No tobacco in it whatsoever. It reminds me of this sawdust flavor. I can taste the vanilla in it really strongly. Hmm. That toffee has got to be throwing it off. Yeah. I, I, I'm at a loss for words well, on that. Well, toffee is more of a coffee-like tobacco -y flavor, I guess. Toffee is like a mix between tobacco and coffee to me. It's weird. I know. Okay. I know. Is that what coffee is? I don't know. No, Maybe. it's not. I'm just joking. Yeah. A little bit more on there. Um, it's uh, it's a decent flavor, like I said before. This is probably an all-day bait for me <coughs> because it reminds me of uh, another flavor, I guess. Um, it's it's a, it's really different from a lot of other flavors that I've tasted. It so, is gold. I like it. I like the name. It's it's gold flavor. That's interesting. It is. I can't even... I don't know. Putting vanilla and toffee together to make a flavor like this, that's awesome. Um, even though that I think it tastes like a sweet sawdust flavor, I think you guys should try this one out. Um, just because it's a cool bottle, it's a unique buy, and I mean, it's 30 bucks for... How many milliliters is this? Mm, I don't know. They just have nicotine levels. It says, 50, well, it, it looks like a 50 milliliter bottle, maybe. No. You know what it is, 50 mils? Maybe, probably 30. Well, maybe. Could be 60. Maybe. Could maybe. be 60. It's probably a 60 mil bottle, something like that. I don't, it probably says it on it. We're just missing it. 1.35 ounces. Oh, man. Do it in ounces. Americans. America. Um, I don't know. I, I like it. Whatever it is. Not an all-day vape for me, but it's not a bad flavor. I think I'm going to try to vape this one all day to see what I think about it more. Uh, the flavor will probably, I'll probably adapt to it a little bit more. So it's, it's real new to me. It's, it's nice. I like their bottles. They're different, but I really don't like that there's nothing to drip with it. I think the uniqueness of it makes up for it. It does. I think the the actual bottle, I think you could put this in like the little, you know, a carry, just one of those little carriers you use. Yeah, you could. I, I mean, I have a unicorn. You you think you do. That's actually mine. Well, you have one. Yeah, I'm going to use it. You got a t-shirt. It's mine. Mine. So, because I got a t-shirt now, anything else is yours that yep. you send me? Mm -hmm. Yep. Wise. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, this is a win for me. Already, this is a win. Even though that I'm not picking the flavor uh, profiles outright, and probably throughout <laughs> any of these videos. I didn't either, so I guess so we. <laughs> it's really, it's really hard to like I've said in the, in the other videos. A lot of this stuff I don't think is actually naturally flavored. They pick the chemicals that make the flavor out. Some scientist somewhere hiding in a basement mm -hmm. does this. Um, and the chemicals are closely related into each of the flavors that they, they put together. So it's really, really hard to pick out a flavor if it doesn't pop. This is really mixed well. I haven't tasted a toffee flavor, I don't think, yet. Me either. And maybe in the sawdust flavor, maybe it was like a tobacco toffee flavor. Maybe. Maybe that's what why I'm, I'm tasting that. Anyways, this, I'm going to try to bake this one all day. This is really good. Uh, I really do like this. So that's that's all I have to say. Gold is a win. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. We're going to go ahead and move into the next two.